Welcome back, Captains. CG Cage here bringing you another Station 31 STO news update. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified on all of the latest STO news updates. So, tomorrow, April 1st, celebrates First Contact Day. Uh, Star Trek Online is pleased to announce uh, First Contact Day is coming back starting on PC and console April 1st, 2021, and continuing until April 22nd, 2021. Join the festivities by complete, competing with four other players to build and launch your very own Phoenix rocket, traveling back to April 4th, 2063, to thwart the Borg's efforts to prevent the historic event. Or, new for this year, uh, participate in the recreation of the synth attack on Mars. Once per day, any activity will grant a daily progress towards the grand prize, the Martin Mining Laser. Faithful used in the synth uprising on Mars, um, supposed to be a very powerful ground weapon. For the first time, Synth Weave joins First Contact Day event. The synth Working on Mars have rebelled, fight in orbit above the red planet, working with a team of fellow captains to do as much good as possible before you are overrun in the Synthweave TFO. The fate of Utopia Plantasia hung in the balance. Perhaps your insight will incite, uh, will use, will tip the scales if we are tested again someday. Um, the Borg continue their impeccable advance. Only this time, the battlefield is across time, not space. Uh, Daniels has prompted to, was prompted to slap together an away team to go back to the mid-21st century Earth where the Borg have altered the timeline to ensure they succeed in their previously foiled plan to stop first contact between the Earth and Vulcans. Team up with Seven of Nine and discover what the Borg have done to alter the timeline, and then do everything you can to correct it. Just make sure not to do more damage to the timelines than the Borg have already done. Uh, alternatively, the uh, if battling robot zombies isn't your cup of Earl Grey, you can participate in the good old Phoenix Rocket Launch Competition. Uh, we hope you enjoy the friendly rivalry as you scramble to gather parts and assemble the best rocket under the watchful eye of the enormous marble Dr. Cochran himself. Uh, completing either of these participating activities once per day per account will earn you first contact a badge box opening this box will grant players the opportunity to choose between 17 com badges as account wide unlocks once unlocked these immediately become accessible from any tailor for any federation character on your account daily progress is also earned once per day per account for the first completion of either event. Uh, keep earning progress to earn your way towards the completion of the first contact day event. Upon reaching 14 days of progress, you will become eligible to claim the grand prize, um, which is the Martin Mining Laser, first contact day bundle, which is a captain specialization point, 25,000, excuse me, dilithium ore, and the launch toy rocket social device um, hollow emitter Phoenix shuttle as well. So let's go over some of these rewards. Uh, the replica of the industrial equipment used during the attack on Mars, a hand-operated Martin mining laser is a powerful tool for separating veins of ore from surrounding rock, among other things, just as ancient mining picks found their way into the battlefield. The hand-operated mining laser 
has a certain unorthodox effectiveness, holding this dubious record for most confirmed kills among, among the excavation equipment. Well, there's a record for you, right? The primary attack deals fire damage to foes in a line, and a secondary firing mode adds fire hazards to that impact. Replacing Palm Strike with a, another firing mode that discharges a capacitor from the prongs, directly delivering an electrical shock to stun opponents. Might be something to play around with and see what it does. Uh, celebrate the historical launch of the Phoenix year-round. With this special device upon activation, it places a model of the Phoenix in front of you, which quickly launches into the sky. Don't think that needs any more explanation. Hollow emitter, Phoenix shuttle. So yeah, it just launches right up there in front of you. Uh, your shuttles and fighters will... So here's a special hollow emitter for your shuttles and fighters that will make your ship look like the Phoenix. This device has an unlimited duration, unlike those provided by the Frangi. And we all know the Frangi are cheap. <clears throat> Bonus dilithium rewards. Earning the grand prize from this event for every character on your account is as simple as participating in any of the eligible activities over the course of its run. But remember... That completing the 14-day requirement isn't necessarily the end of the rewards. You can earn additional daily progress. Also grants you scaling dilithium or bonus rewards. After you have claimed the grand prize, you will re receive 8,000 dilithium ore for each bonus completion. Now, if you don't want to wait, or if you don't think you'll make the... The 14 days, uh, you can buy out. Players unable to find the time to complete the event or interested in rushing the completion of their progress will have the opportunity to purchase the remainder of their daily progress using Zane at any time. The initial pricing for this event buyout will be 2,000 Zen, but like all other recent buyouts, the price any player pays will be discounted based on the amount of daily progress you have already occurred. So on this day, we look back to the feeling of wonder we had towards the future. Hope springs eternal. We have but to drink and be merry. So 14 days. This is this month's event. Uh, not bad. It's kind of cool they added a new TFO. Um, the mining laser sounds kind of interesting. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but it would be nice to play around with it. <clears throat> Get some details. But that's all I got, Captain CG Cage here signing off. And as always, fly fast and happy hunting.